Okay, this is question number eight now from the June 2011 BY1 paper. It's the long answer question, and we're actually going to be looking at uh, part B uh, in this video tutorial. Okay, part A uh, can be found uh, with the videos on uh, cell division. Okay, so part B then is looking at uh, the structure of DNA, and uh, you just have to describe the structure of DNA. Okay, so uh, there are ample marking points available for this uh, for this essay. Okay, uh, I think it's a pretty reasonable uh, essay, and and it it often comes up this where you're asked to uh, to discuss DNA and its uh, structure. All right. So I just want to run through some sort of important structural features of DNA briefly. All right. It's a polynucleotide chain, of course. Uh, the nucleotide is made up of a phosphate, a sugar and a base. Mention that the uh, the sugar is deoxyribose. You know, that's a good marking point. OK. Uh, talk about the bases. They, they're, not, they're nitrogenous bases. They contain a lot of nitrogen. Uh, there are four of them. There's adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, remember. Talk about the uh, base pairing rule. Okay, mention about adenine base pairs with thymine, guanine with cytosine. Talk about the hydrogen bonds between the bases. Okay, so there are three hydrogen bonds between guanine and cytosine. There are two hydrogen bonds between adenine and thymine. Um, DNA, of course, is a double helix. Okay, uh, talk about the family of bases, the purines and the pyrimidines. Okay, um, talk about the sugar phosphate backbone in DNA. All right, you can mention that the um, the two polynucleotide strands of DNA are antiparallel. Okay, remember one strand is upside down compared to the uh, to the other. Okay, so uh, there is an enormous amount that you can write uh, in this essay. There's lots of opportunities to pick up marks as long as you've thoroughly prepared for your exam. Okay, this this shouldn't be too much uh, of an issue. Okay, so I uh, I shall write in an answer for you, and then we'll have a look at the mark scheme. Okay, uh, I've typed in an answer there. Okay, this answer should get ten marks, uh, but I certainly haven't mentioned every single structural feature of DNA uh, that I could have. All right, but uh, uh, it can be up to you now to try and add in all the other things that uh, I haven't uh, mentioned. Uh, we'll talk about some of them now when we look at the mark scheme. OK, uh, but I've mentioned about uh, DNA being a polymer and nucleotides forming a polynucleotide chain. I've mentioned about the nucleotide and what it's made up of. Make note that I've said deoxyribose sugar. You have to mention that. I'm talking about the four bases. I've named them, look. Okay, I've also mentioned that they can be purines and pyrimidines. Okay, I've said that the polynucleotide chains run anti-parallel to each other, which means one strand is upside down compared to the other. I've said the two strands are held together by hydrogen bonds between uh, complementary bases. And then I've stated the complementary bases. So it's thymine uh, with adenine and guanine with cytosine. And then I've said the two polynucleotide chains coil to form a double helical structure. OK. And the phosphate and deoxyribose sugar form the sugar phosphate backbone of DNA. OK. Uh, there's certainly other things, as I said, that I could have mentioned there. All right. But uh, that should get you uh, 10 marks. So uh, let's look at the uh, mark scheme. There it is. OK. Um, so there's my polynucleotide chain. I've talked about what a nucleotide is made up of. I've said deoxyribose. I've mentioned that the base contains nitrogen because I've called them nitrogenous bases. I've mentioned the four bases. OK. I've mentioned the sugar phosphate backbone. I've talked about the two polynucleotide chains joining together. OK. I've talked about them being anti-parallel. OK. I've talked about the hydrogen bonds there between the bases. I've mentioned complementary base pairing. I've stated the base pairing rule, adenine with thymine, guanine with cytosine. 
okay. Um, I've mentioned purine and pyrimidine, but the mark scheme there wanted that you have one purine paired with one pyrimidine. Now, I didn't mention that uh, in the essay, but I did mention the purine and pyrimidine bases. Okay. Um, I've mentioned the double helix. And lastly, down here, I've not mentioned those two points. Uh, the purines, of course, have a double ring structure. They're, they're large bases, whereas the pyrimidines just have this single ring structure. And lastly, then, the sequence of bases is the genetic code. All right, so the order of those bases in DNA actually constitutes the genetic code. Okay, so that's uh, question eight, part B done. I hope it helped.